Hello, welcome to my little urban homestead. Right, you see me canning and dehydrating things. Um, now I'm going to actually use some of them up. But I had a, a find this morning. Where are they? Some of those potatoes I dug up, I dehydrated. Never done that before. Followed the ball canning book and I diced them up into chunks but I've just noticed I've gone to use them and can you see I mustn't have left them long enough there's mold in there so I will not use any of these at all but it was an experiment experiment to try to see so I don't think I'll dehydrate potatoes again. I might do. We'll see. I I mustn't have let them go long enough. Or the, because the chunks were possibly too big. Uh, so it's a learning experience. I know to do it different next time if I do do it. But this is proof that you need to check any of the stuff that you preserved whether you've stored it you need to check it over or dehydrated it or canned it check your seals on your cans check anything that you've um, dehydrated because mold is not a good thing to eat so I'm going to ditch the whole of this but as I said it's a learning curve so it's going to be a slight change of plan I've checked on the other things they are perfectly fine I also didn't put an oxygen absorber in with the potatoes whereas I've got one in with everything else so it shows that they work so I'm going to have to order some more right as I might be busy doing different things today or just have the day off because uh, Lurch is uh, off work today. I'm going to um, put, them in, put a load of things in the slow cooker and just leave it go. I was going to put potatoes in it but now I can't. So I think I'll decide later on what I'm going to do with it. But I'll start it off now. Right, I've got no dehydrated onions at the moment. I haven't yet done them. <laughs> so I'm going to just bung in a few shallots. When I went the abattoirs a few months ago and I got different sorts of meat, oh, this is leather. Yes, because it does say. But uh, I thought it was something else. I should read my own labels. It actually says leather on it. But I'm still going to use it up. So I'm going to do a leather casserole. So just bung the leather in. Now to that, I'm going to add some dehydrated carrots. Um, a small handful, because there's only the two of us. So, small handful dehydrated carrots. Now the rest, rest of them, they look good. more in I think. Just make sure I don't go an oxygen absorber. So that's the carrots. I'm also going to put in some of my dehydrated runner beans. So just 
a handful again. I've also got some mushroom bits. Now, I like mushrooms, and so does Luke. So we'll have a nice big handful of mushroom bits. A few shallots. I would normally have put dehydrated onions in, but as I said, I haven't got any. The powdered kale, the people were wondering what I'd use that for. These are dehydrated tomato slices. So we'll bong a few of those in. Come on, here you come. This is a jar of tomatoes and celery. It's a tap lid so I don't need the metal opener. You should just slowly break the seal. Mm. Just give it a sniff. Make sure it's all right. The seal was good on it anyway. And that will go eat some juice to help rehydrate the vegetables. Just give it a stir up. I think I might need a bit more moisture in there. So half of, oops, half of the jar of water, because there's quite a bit of dehydrated stuff in there. And we'll just leave it, we'll put it on high for an hour, and then I'll come back to it, have a look, see if it needs any more water or anything else. Put it on low and leave it going for the rest of the day until it's time for tea. After about three or four hours, I added a bit of uh, pill barley to it and give it another couple of hours and it's there. Love a stew. An easy, quick meal just sorts itself out. I don't have to do anything. Now, you don't have to add pearl barley, you can add rice to it. Um, 
you could um, boil some rice up and have that with it or what I was originally going to do was add potatoes but there's tea sorted out basically with what I've preserved some of it's out of the garden some of it isn't the pig's liver definitely isn't out of the garden I haven't got enough room for pigs tea thank you bye It's a perfect situation